Hey guys, this is Apple Farms, and I know I haven't made a video in a while because I've been quite busy. So, I've got my Adobe CS 5.5 Master Collection just yesterday. And today I'm going to show you how you can create, uh, how you can add text in Adobe Premiere Pro. CS 5.5 but I'm pretty sure this works for um, CS 5 and CS 4 as well okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my banner over here I'm just gonna drag it in here first okay and I want to resize it just drag it here okay then I want to have something like a tutorial by and then colon and then then my uh, then the Apple Farms banner so what I'm gonna do is you have to go to title new title and then for this one I'll be choosing default still okay then you can just change it uh, just leave it as title one not that it matters so here you have my banner and okay, you're gonna click on this type 2 press T and you just want to type in uh, a tutorial by okay it's too big so just undo it come on Z and then so now we're gonna use I'm just gonna use a font like um just use a career and then I'll just type in no, okay I think I'm just gonna change the size because 100 is way too big let's go 36 just type in a tutorial by open and just click on the selection to the arrow and then just put it here and then you can add tutorial by apple forms just like that uh, you can also use all the title styles they give you mm. I think I'll go with one glow one so okay, select this and then use this you can change your font um, okay, I have no idea what it wants to um, Give me a second. Okay, here it is. Zero. Then, uh, change the size. Yes, to maybe 48. Use the mouse too. Okay. Just, just put it right on top here. It looks really nice. Okay. Then you're just gonna close it. Now it's over here. Just drag it on top. Drag it. Er, drag it here. Now you can have this over here. And just play it. Tutorial by Apple Forms, and this can last for five seconds unless you change the time. So, um, and if there's anything, you can just change it from here. Like if you don't like the position or anything. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was helpful. And if this video has a good enough response, I'll do more tutorials on Adobe Premiere Pro CS 5.5. Thanks for watching. Bye.